Hi there, this is Marty from OwingsArt.com. That's O-W-I-N-G-S-A-R-T.com. And thanks for stopping by today while I take a look at these Schmincke Horadam uh, Gouache Finest Artist, uh, finest artist Gouache uh, set here. There's six paints in this set. Um, you get a titanium white, a quinacridone violet, a helio turquoise, an English red, an Indian yellow, and a dark indigo. And these are just great colors to start off with and do a little testing here. Um, the paper I'm going to use today is a Sennelier. That's a French paper. Uh, it's 100 percent cotton, 140 pound acid free uh, hot press paper. So it's pretty nice paper. And these paints, the, the Hordam gouache paints here, the Schmenkes, are made in Germany. And they're, uh, they really are uh, quite excellent paints. Um, I'm going to use this water pen today, but you could also use a dry brush if you chose to do that with these as well. I'll start off here just going through uh, the various colors, and then later on down the line I'll kind of compare these to the same brand, Schmenka, their watercolors, which are more obviously translucent than a gouache. Now, I'm not a gouache painter, uh, but I do use it from time to time and I enjoy it, so um, I like the uh, opaqueness it adds to my work. But uh, And then later on in the video, I'll do a, a painting demonstration with these and, and, and draw some hay bales in a field. So Schmincke sells these in, uh, you get 48 colors in the entire line. And um, the pigments are highly concentrated like all Schmincke paints. The watercolors are the same way. And um, it's got really excellent light fast properties as well. And what's another cool thing about these Schmincke paints is that when the color dries, you can re-wet it and uh, rework the paint. So that's, that's uh, really cool as well. So you get some extra mileage from the paint. So here I, I just compared a little watercolor same color next to the um, the gouache, so you can sort of you could see that. Next thing I'm going to do is a little drawing or a painting demonstration with these um, some hay bales in a field. And um, what I do here is I start out with that uh, really nice Indian yellow, and then mix in some uh, uh, mix the the yellow and the uh, green or the yellow and the blue. Um, uh, that indigo uh, with uh, to make green. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say, <laughs> to make green. So it doesn't look like much now, but give it a little time and it'll come along. Um, adding in some shading here and dragging the brush almost dry across the texture of the paper adds some cool effects there and you can kind of get a, a texture going. One of the cool things about these Schmincke uh, gouaches is that they can be uh, reactivated when they're re-wet. So if they dry and you want to work them a little bit more, you, they can be wetted and reworked on all types of uh, different types of paper. So watercolor paper or other paper, doesn't matter. So that's really a cool property about these paints. And like, like I said, their, their opaqueness is really excellent. So you're not going to uh, nothing's going to bleed through and you're not going to see the white behind the paper unless you're intentionally trying to get that effect. Um, and I like that it's kind of got a pastel effect. It's um, Because the, the pigment is rich and the, it dries sort of chalky, that's that's the look you want. You can, like I said, drag it across the paper and if you've got a nice textured paper like the Sennelier, this French paper I'm using today, you can see that effect. It helps the a painting come along and, and helps it come alive and gives it a little bit uh, more detail and uh, richness I guess. Um, so I like that property about both the paper and the paints in combination and uh, it makes it fun. So here I'm just mixing in a little um, of that uh, the quinacridone violet, violet and uh, just um, yeah, I'm not so intense but you know I want to cast shadows here so I'm using that just for that purpose and just kind of lightly working that in here into the painting. I'm not trying to be perfect here this isn't a photograph so 
that's one thing I tell artists, you know, when they ask me, well, uh, you know, uh, your, your, your work, Marty, uh, somewhere straddles the border somewhere between realistic and sort of impressionist or whatever, uh, especially my sketches. And I always say, well, it's, you know, I'm not trying to recreate a photograph. If that was the point, I'd just take a picture. You know, but uh, what it is is your impression of it, your feeling of it, your your seeing of it, and uh, and you're sort of communicating that scene uh, through your brushwork. And uh, so, uh, it's not an excuse for not being perfect or precise. I respect that uh, ability among uh, great artists, but I think once you learn that, you spend a lot of your career trying to loosen up again. Um, I hear that a lot from artists who've who've been painting for a long time or drawing or sketching, you eventually get back to that looseness. And as you become more skilled, you'll see that reflect in your work. And uh, so like you see the, the little pieces of white that are coming through, those almost look like uh, pieces of light, uh, light that are hitting the ground or what have you. And that's, that's how you see things maybe uh, through your interpretation when you're out there. But, um, you know, a lot of a lot of art, at least in my experience, is playing tricks with light and shade, and I kind of that adds that element of realism. That's enough uh, for me. I mean, you're, the human eye is going to fill in the rest. So, so that's uh, that's what I work toward. Well, it's hard to give these uh, Schmincke uh, Horadam gouaches any rating except for really super excellent. I mean, they're outstanding paints and um, they dry nicely. They're light fast. Um, they just feel good on the paper and they give you the effects you want. And uh, yeah, so like I said, I really like that. It's got almost a painterly feel, this almost like an oil uh, painting. And I, I kind of like that, but still has the elements of a watercolor. Um, so I just, I think they're great. And I, I use a lot of their products. So I think the uh, Schmenke does an excellent job at, um, at their manufacturing process, their quality, the pigments in their paint. So I really uh, appreciate the effort they put into it. And I think for most artists, they're, they're going to appreciate uh, that as well. And just a quick word on the uh, Sennelier watercolor paper I'm using here. Really very excellent watercolor paper. This happens to be a, a hot press, but if you wanted a smoother finish, you could use a cold press. But I really like the way the, uh, the paper um, feels and the way the, uh, the texture of it uh, plays with, the, with these paints. Well, thanks for dropping by today. And uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a comment or a question. I always like uh, responding to uh, folks who are interested in art and fellow artists. All right, well, that's it for today. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com and a quick look at the Schmincke uh, Horadam gouaches. Have a great day, everybody. So long for now.